Hello everyone, welcome back to another Heart to Heart lesson. My name is Lexi and today I'll be teaching you about Arte Povera. Arte Povera took place in Italy and what influenced this art style was that in the 1960s and 70s, Italy was controlled by American political and economic influence, the Marshall Plan. The Marshall Plan was a United States plan to provide aid to Europe after World War II. Political refers to the government and how it's run. Economics refers to making money. The term Arte Povera was first used by Germain Salant, an art critic. He saw the way these artists used materials. Germain Salant held an art exhibition called Amspacio, meaning the space of thoughts, in Italy in 1967. This event is considered to be the birth of the Arte Povera movement. The Arte Povera movement took place between the end of the 1960s through the 1970s in major cities throughout Italy and spread to Southern Europe. Where is Italy on a map? It's located in Europe. What language do they speak in Italy? They speak Italian. As you can see, the colors of the Italian flag are green, white, and red. Arte Povera means poor art, but the word poor here refers to the movement's signature exploration of a wide range of materials beyond the traditional ones of oil paintings on canvases, bronze or carved marble sculptures. Artists explored a range of unconventional processes, meaning unusual or uncommon, and used non-traditional everyday materials. Materials used by the artist include soil, rags, rocks, twigs, and cloth. Today we will be making a paper mache pig. First, you want to cut out little strips of paper from a newspaper. Now we need to make our glue mixture by mixing one cup of flour and one cup of water together until you get a thick glue-like substance. Blow up a balloon. Dip your newspaper into the glue and put it on your balloon. Do this until you have no spots of the balloon showing. Now we will make the feet and the nose of the pig. I am using a paper towel roll to help me get the shape. You will want at least two layers of paper mache covering your whole pig. After you are done, set it somewhere to dry. It will take about one to two days to dry. Once it is all done drying, paint your pig however you would like. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Heart to Art. I hope you had just as much fun as I did.